Good morning, guys. Today I'm gonna show you five meals that I eat every week. They're like pretty simple recipes. They're all vegan. I will have all of my recipes like listed down below. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first we are starting with a beautiful bon mi. I wanna cut it. You wanna cut it? Yeah. You can cut it. Perfect slice. Hey, stop, stop! Why would you do that? Why? Why would you, you do that? You gotta open it. I'll open it. No, Why? don't do it. You're gonna rip my toast in half. So I'm just throwing the bread in the toaster, and then I have some cucumbers and some carrots, putting in some white vinegar, some sesame oil, soy sauce, garlic powder, some sugar, and then just giving it a nice little mix. Then taking some vegan mayo, spreading it on one side, spreading some hoisin sauce on the other side, adding some tofu that I cooked the other night, and then adding the veggies, of course. And then I have some little herbs over here. We have some cilantro and some basil, so I'm just tucking it inside, and there we go. A perfectly done sandwich. Ow. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Frozen. Bananas. Half the bananas going in. All right, let me break it apart first. Target dragon fruit chunks. Soy milk, like not that much. Super fluffy. Okay, now I'm gonna make the blue smoothie. A little bit of milk again. This is called blue spirulina, by the way. Bro, that was good at you. Kind of the vibe. Now you can open your eyes. Wow. Wow. What is this called again? A yin yang. <laughs> yeah. Chalupa. Chalupa. I don't know if that was enough. Okay, okay, and I'm gonna make my bowl. Then I also made a small bowl for Amber, and so I went to go <laughs> surprise her with it on this lovely morning. It's an acai bowl. Uh, so it's gonna melt <laughs> if you don't eat it. <laughs> Thanks so much. No problem. Okay, and then this obviously isn't a meal, but literally almost every day, I swear, I have one of these Verb Energy Bars, and they have 65 milligrams of caffeine, which is the same as a shot of espresso. I always say espresso, espresso, shot of espresso. I'm gonna open one right now. I would eat these before my class and I would be able to stay up like my whole class perfectly fine. They're infused with organic green tea. So that is how we get the amazing energy without the crash. And they taste so good. This one, I am mean, it's salted peanut butter. One of my favorite flavors of theirs. I think my all time favorite though is maple blueberry. And they're just like a great like small snack. They're only 90 calories. They also have a bunch of different flavors such as maple blueberry. Then they have vanilla latte, then salted peanut butter. And and then they also have lemon raspberry. So if you guys wanna give it a try, you can get a starter pack for only $12. It will come with one large pack with the flavor of your choice. And it will also come with all four of the other flavors so you can see which one is truly your favorite. And I also wanna thank Verb so much for partnering with me on this video. I literally eat these every day, so it's just so fitting. Good morning. Okay, so here's one of my breakfasts that I eat literally all the time. It's just oatmeal waffles. So I'm gonna show you how to make it and it's gonna be wonderful, wonderful time. Oh my God, I dropped the blackberry. So I usually don't really use measurements, but I'm taking about a cup of rolled oats and then I'm just gonna blend them up in my blender. Then I'm taking some soy milk, some apple cider vinegar, some ground flaxseed, adding the oat flour, and then also adding some peanut butter powder. Then I'm using this chocolate protein powder, so just put in like half of that packet in there. A little bit of baking powder, I should really measure that. Some vanilla extract, giving it a nice mix, and there we go. It should be like kind of liquidy, not too liquidy though. So it gets kind of thicker over time, so once it's thickened up a bit, I just plop it right on there. Mm -hmm. 
and then I usually wait until the waffle stops steaming. It probably takes like five to eight minutes. I don't even know if this is on anymore. I think maybe it's finally done after like being 30 years old. Uh, it'll work again. I think so? Yeah. Maybe the lights go out. Huh? It's back to working, it's, baby. It's working again, baby. And this recipe makes about four waffles. Okay, so it's finally done. Some blackberries here, bananas, maple syrup, of course the waffles. I'm gonna add some peanut butter and maybe I'll also add some like hemp seeds and some cinnamon. A little bit of cinnamon. And I have right here microwave blueberries. I like to use natural peanut butter as well. So I'm just taking some matcha and then tapping it in. I just use my little frother. I love my frother. And adding some soy milk as well as just some soy creamer. And then just giving it that final froth. Then this morning we got almost two feet of snow. Good morning! It's so snowy outside, you guys can hear the snowblower going, but we're making avocado toast and tofu scramble. I'm using firm tofu. I usually like to use soft tofu, but I just add some soy milk and it like kind of makes up for it. Then I'm adding some frozen vegetables, some turmeric. I also like to add some other spices just for fun. Put on a lid and then let it simmer. And once it's this bright yellow color, that usually means it's done. Then I'm adding some avocado. I'm also using Ezekiel bread, sesame Ezekiel bread, some chili lime powder from Trader Joe's. I really had to shake it because it wouldn't come out. Then I'm using some Larry's seasoned salt, some garlic powder, and some black pepper. And I'm also adding agave. It's kind of weird, but you gotta trust me on this. Ew, it's like there's nothing in here. And ketchup, sorry guys. So good. Now finally, we're making a dinner recipe, guys. We're making spaghetti tonight. Adding some salt into the water, some spaghetti. This is gluten-free spaghetti. I think I don't have enough water for this much pasta. Kind of hard to cook. Definitely did not use a big enough pot by accident. These are my favorite meatballs from Gardein. And I'm just letting them like cook for a bit. Once I feel like they're warmed up enough, I add my favorite sauce from Trader Joe's. I love sauce. I also decided to add some little pieces of basil. Maybe I should have cooked them in, but whatever. They still tasted good that way. Hi guys, I have a scarf in my hair because I'm doing Heatless Curls the Challenge. Heatless Curls Challenge. And now you're supposed to use a robe thing, but I'm using a scarf. I'm gonna see how it looks. Also, it's kind of beautiful as well. Anyways. I mean a meatball. I love these spaghetti pasta. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you make any of the recipes, let me know. You could DM me on Instagram. I hope that you guys found some newfound cooking inspiration. And I love you. Peace.